John Heilman, uh, new Fox News polls are out of registered voters in swing states and really tells the same story that we've been hearing over the past week or two, a tightening of the race. All four of the states within the margin of error. Donald Trump leads Georgia 51-45. That may be outside the margin of error there. Uh, Michigan 49-46. Again, those numbers in both of those states tightening up. Wisconsin and Pennsylvania, dead heats, 48-48. So, again, a tightening race uh, as we move from April into May. Yeah, I mean, Joe, I, if, if, given, if I were given my druthers, uh, I would, I know we, we have to report on polls, uh, but, but I would, to your point about the margin of error, I, I'm, I'm sort of my gut at, at this point and my head both say that uh, we'd all be wise to essentially uh, not really care that much about, about new polls unless they start to show a race that's outside the margin of error. Because yeah. I, my, my, my sense of this race and is, is that all the data we have is that we are going to have a margin of error race in the battleground states. Uh, from now until election day. And and the margin of error means that there's a margin of error. And so these numbers are in some sense meaningless other than to say this race is really close. And we know that, right? I, I think the I, I think that the, the mar tiny size of tightening in either direction don't matter very much. And I do think that that anybody who was sitting here on a Friday and said, who had a better week uh, in, in politically? Uh, Joe Biden in a, in a in a battleground state a lot of the week in Pennsylvania. Uh, or Donald Trump in court. Well, you think I know what the, I think yeah. we all know what the answer to that is. Yeah, well, you know, uh, it is interesting that, that over the past six months or so, the courtroom politics have played in Donald Trump's favor. I am curious, so now, Claire, that we are seeing um, Joe Biden campaigning and, and, and Donald Trump uh, stuck, in, stuck in a courtroom uh, over the next six to eight weeks, whether those dynamics change a bit. And also, I just I just got to say, uh, when I was in public office, I don't know about you, I never cared about the bottom line of the poll. I just obsessed on trend lines. Where was the last one? Where was the one before that? And there's an unmistakable trend post State of the Union address that breaks in Joe Biden's favor, whether it's public polling or private polling. Yeah, I agree with both you and John. I think the trend is good. I also think margin of error polls are really uh, kind of a waste of time. What I would love is for all of these polling folks to just focus on independent voters, um, voters who have voted for both Donald Trump and Joe Biden, or people who are in those congressional districts in those swing states that have elected both Republicans and Democrats. If the, it's very expensive to poll those voters, those swing voters, but those are the only voters at play right now. Yes, they've got to worry about enthusiasm and getting bases out. Our party, the Democratic Party, my party, has to really worry about solidifying the coalitions and making sure they understand the importance of voting. But it's those voters that go back and forth that are going to decide these states. They don't really get polled in a way that they that you can see it because it's so expensive to do it, to find enough of them to make the polls reliable costs a lot of money. So none of these folks that are polling want to do that. You know, I'm also fascinated by men, by men who voted for Biden, but who are conservative, who are Republican, are they going to stay with Biden this next go round or are they going to go back? So I, a lot of these men were influenced by abortion and about what they saw happening to women and they chose to jump ship. But has have the last four years been palatable for them. And so I'm curious to see if Biden's going to be able to hold on to that crucial little sliver and win re-election. Hey, everyone. MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.